give a perfect uh, you know opportunity to make children understood about the same thing, what the concept of same play and of different play. When I saw this question is already there in the theme book. So I asked children to bring three sticks, right? And uh, then I asked that do you think that uh, this is the same play? Right? right. And uh, they say yes, uh, because same play means all the three pairs are on the same plane or not. If I manipulate it like this, then I asked, are they on the same plane? So they could understand actually these two pairs are in the same plane, but this is not the same plane. Then I asked in another manner, are these three pairs are on the same plane? Although the plane is different altogether, this plane is different in this plane, but for these three pans, they if if I ask if with respect to each other, they are in the same. So they understood the concept of the having the same plane very well. And the second important thing is uh, when they relate the first law with the second law, sometimes they think if I ask you them. Uh, having the three sticks on the different plane, right? And I, I tell them that I have measured that this angle is similar to this angle, mm -hmm. right? And consider that this is the incident ray, mm -hmm. this is reflecting ray, and this this was the point of incidence, and this is norm. So I am saying that I have measured this angle is equal to this angle. So, do you think that the light is following both the rules? Both the principles, first law and second law. Then you know it gives a kind of a trigger in their mind. Ki okay, under this situation, the first law is still being followed, but second law is not being followed. So when every child individually has to think about and has to apply, right? So this was the opportunity for them.